What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and today we are reviewing the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. Both of these phones are similar with some differences. The iPhone 7 has a 1334 by 750 resolution, 4.7 inch display, while the iPhone 7 Plus has a 1080p 5.5 inch screen. The iPhone 7 has 2 gigs of RAM, whereas the iPhone 7 Plus has 3 gigs. The 7 has a 1960mAh battery and the 7 Plus packs a 2900mAh battery and the faster A10 Fusion chip is the same on each phone. Both phones do have a front-facing HD camera capable of taking 7 megapixel photos and recording 1080p video. They also pack a 12 megapixel rear camera with optical image stabilization that can shoot 4K video. Exclusive to the Plus model is a second rear camera, a 12 megapixel telephoto lens that allows up to 2x optical zoom. Apple has officially ditched the space gray option, replacing it with black and jet black finishes, which seem to have been the most popular options based on initial reception. Apple's new flagships feature the same glass and aluminum design seen on the previous models, with the only notable differences being seen in the blended antenna bands, lack of headphone jack, and a wider front speaker grille. The device is still very slippery to the hand, especially with the matte black option that I have here in the video, but you can fix this problem with a dbrand skin, and I'll drop a link to it down below if you guys want to check that out. This year, Apple has also redesigned the home button to be pressure sensitive, which serves as taptic feedback as opposed to a physical button. It will take some getting used to, but I've started to enjoy it after a few weeks of using the phone. The big change here, however, is the removal of the headphone jack. So you're pretty much left with using the supplied lightning to 3.5mm adapter or wireless audio options. The iPhone 7 and 7 Plus are now IP67 waterproofing rated, which has been a long time coming. As long as the submersion is no deeper than 1 meter and stays below 30 minutes, you shouldn't have to worry. When it comes to the displays, the resolution and size has remained unchanged at 1334 by 750 for the 4.7 inch model and the 1920 by 1080 for the 5.5 inch option. Viewing angles are tremendous as always. Slight but welcoming improvements have been made with the wider color gamut and overall brightness of the display being increased by 25%. The color representation is quite accurate, but if you're looking for something with an absolute amount of pop, you might want to look elsewhere to a phone that uses an AMOLED display instead. With the increases to battery capacity, Apple is obviously touting the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus as having the best battery life compared to previous iterations. In my testing, I was able to only squeeze an extra hour out of the battery. With light to medium usage, this should be able to get you through the day even more if you're using the Plus model. Apple doesn't offer any form of quick charging or wireless charging on either model, both of which are now staples of a flagship smartphone. Apple has finally integrated stereo speakers into the iPhone 7. One speaker is the same bottom firing piece as we all know, while the other is integrated in the top earpiece. In fact, here's a quick audio test. The iPhone has always been known to have a great camera and this year is no different. Both models feature a 12 megapixel unit with a wider f1.8 aperture. Apple has fitted the iPhone 7 Plus with a dual camera module, a company first that seems to have gathered a lot of interest early on. The wide angle lens is the same as on the iPhone 7, utilizing a focal length of 28mm. The second camera is a telephoto lens with a smaller aperture of f2.8, providing more reach at a 56mm focal length. Each phone can also shoot 4K video at up to 30 FPS, and also optical image stabilization has finally trickled its way down to the smaller model as well. Focusing has also been improved, but it's still not the fastest. The front camera is now at 7 megapixels and can capture 1080p video. The field of view is still relatively narrow compared to the Galaxy S7, so group selfies will require a bit more work. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at some samples. Photos and videos are as you would expect from an iPhone. Bright, colorful, and sharp. Dynamic range has also been increased, preserving some more details in the highlights. When shooting in low light scenarios, the iPhone 7 preserves detail a bit sharper, particularly in the shadows. And by the way, you guys can see a full camera comparison linked below. The iPhone 7 and 7 Plus come pre-installed with iOS 10, and when compared with the new A10 Fusion chip, these phones are very snappy as expected. 
iOS 10 has brought forward notable changes in the messaging app and the notification center, along with refinements in the overall experience and user interface when utilizing the phone. At first, I wasn't really a fan of the touch to unlock feature, but after using it for a few days, I kind of got used to it. The iPhone 7 and 7 Plus is certainly a well-rounded device. However, with the lack of major design changes and must-have upgrades for the most part, it may be hard for many iPhone 6 and 6S owners to justify purchasing the new phone, especially when you compare it to the competitive market of budget and flagship smartphone offerings. That being said, if you're an avid photographer and can take advantage of the dual camera on the Plus or can appreciate the water-resistant features, now might be the time to pick up Apple's newest flagship. As always, if you guys enjoyed the reviews on TechSource, leaving a like will let me know to continue. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.